Police have identified this man as one of the alleged fuel thieves. His name? Rolando Javier Rodriguez. And he's driving that Chevy truck, which has been heavily modified to hold 200-gallon gas tanks with special pumps to expedite offloading the fuel. And here's the pump that they would stick in to get the gas out. Of the truck? Yes, sir. This is in the bed of the truck. According to investigators, Rodriguez and the other syndicate members fill up their tanks, then download that stolen fuel into external tanks somewhere else. Police say it takes hours, but ultimately, the crew will steal 4,200 gallons of fuel from this one gas station. They fill up, steal fuel, leave, put it in a place you don't know, while another guy's filling up, leaves, dumps it in a place you don't know. They're just doing this all day long. Yes, sir. 4,200 gallons worth. 4,200 gallons over several hours in our, our gas station alone. According to police, the thieves drill open the gas pumps, then install a device known as a fuel manipulator. It tricks the computer into thinking it's pumping fuel at a much slower and cheaper rate than it actually is. And they're able to manipulate the price, too. In this case, it was like pennies on the dollar for the diesel fuel. Because it was 200 gallons they were stealing maybe at a time, and they only paid like two bucks. Yes, sir, somewhere around there. That, that's that's crazy. Yes, sir. Three weeks later, thanks to LPR cameras that spot the suspect's altered pickup truck, Hendersonville police bust this case wide open. This is arrest video of the Florida man at another Hendersonville gas station before the 25-year-old can get to the pumps. Police intercept him, question him, and seize his pickup truck. You've got him. He said nothing, but you know there's other guys. In fact, there's probably lots of guys working lots of gas stations. This is a large scheme, we're pretty sure of, but we haven't got put all the pieces together. We're